Hello, my name is Tracy, and I want to take just a quick minute to show you the Anchor Shroom Mixer. I've had a couple of questions about the Anchor Shroom Mixer, and I thought I would just hop on here very quickly to showcase this machine and tell you a little bit about it. If you've watched any of my other videos, you may have seen me use this as the mixing component for, or what I use to mix um, my wheat that I have milled, and it is a great machine. Just tell you about it very quickly. You can see the outlet plug right here. It has a port right here on this side. You can lay it on its side and you can buy different attachments for the machine. It has a pin. I'll show you more about that in a minute. So this is just the circular view. You have a timer. You can turn it on and then you can hear that's the on click and then you can spin it around. You may can hear the timer clicking. I'm not sure. And then of course you have the speed. I don't have the power plugged in, which is why, um, that's not messing anything up. Okay, the bowl is nearly two gallons. It's large. Um, whenever you buy the Anchor Shroom Mixer, it's going to come with a standard set of um, pieces that come with it. I'll talk about each piece um, in just a second. So this is just a little scraper that comes with it. It does come with the lid. This is The lid is really nice because if you need to let something sit, you can just put the lid on there and leave it covered. There's the lid. I leave my roller and my dough knife there, or scraper is the other um, name for it. I just leave those. That's how I store it. Um, and then this is great because it it works well around the bowl. And then also too, if you do need to scrape um, here, these th this fits nicely in each of these little grooves. So here's the bowl, big nice roomy it has the um and if you you can see that little divide there that locks into here oops you can see this is it's not light it's kind of heavy um i'll just show you very quickly if you didn't see my oat flaker video you can see that and this is how it sits on its side just like that okay all right, so I'm going to put the bowl in here. I'm going to show you how it spins. There, it's locked into place. Let me get the power cord. Oops, I didn't know it was still on. Oops. So whenever you go to, and I'll get my, um, my other camera so it'll film this. This is a locking arm. You can see I can... I can lock this in right here and that allows that keeps the arm from going so you can actually lock the arm into place all right so you can see where I have put the um, the roller in just lift that up and down and then there are two holes right here one is for the dough hook and one is for the dough knife you just put that in there. Then whenever you go to turn it on, oops, always turn it on, just to turn it on slow speed first. And then you can turn that up. I'll show you how fast it goes. Actually, I might take the roller out to do that. So you can see how the roller is spinning right there with the movement. Okay, easy peasy. I did see someone mention they said, honestly, it was kind of scary to see how fast that bowl would turn. So let's just look at it for fun to see how fast this bowl actually will turn. It's got some pretty fast RPMs. Is that the right term? RPM? I don't even know. I don't know if we'd say miles per hour. And yes, I have actually ran it that quickly. 
and you can see how that works. You uh, you can use the the scraper as well if you want to use that at the same time. That's totally fine too. Okay. Now, very quickly, I'm going to show you the rest, the other component. So you have this clear bowl, and this comes with, you can use this for items that you want to use the, the whisk or the beaters with. Here's your um, set of beaters. This simply pops, these pop off, and you put those on there. All right, so this is just the drive shaft. It's clicks down there. Did you see that? The opening it just clicks down in there. And then you want to put your bowl. It'll just kind of fall into place like that. Then you pop this on here. And make sure that's attached. And then... that is the anchor tree mixer it really is a phenomenal machine i've had i had the magic mill assistant was the first model that i had of this machine these are built in sweden um, i had that for several years and then i bought i sold it and purchased this one i just wanted the, the little bit newer model um if i understand correctly the warranty on these is not transferable so if you buy used, just keep that in mind um, also to um, you can buy these open box. Breadbeckers does sell these units in an open box set. That's actually where I got this one. It's a good bit cheaper if you buy open box and it does have the warranty when you purchase that way. So if the new, the price of a new one is not something that is necessarily in your budget, you can always, um, keep an eye out for the open box units that's, that are available from Breadbeckers. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to make a comment, and I hope this was helpful to you if you are considering purchasing an Acres Room Mixer for your home. Um, know that it is not just for bread bakers. It's for anyone who bakes. There's an Acres Room Mixer USA uh, Facebook group that's very informative, and you can see all of the different things that many um, people use these excellent quality machines for. No, I'm not paid to make this, make this promotion. This is just me doing this for you um, in case this is something you're considering. If you found this video um, helpful to you, if you could please give me a thumbs up and a subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. Thanks. I'll see you next time.